I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. Today we're taking a look at some cabinet doors I restored. These are glass pane doors from a very handsome federal period secretary bookcase. The doors were damaged when the unsecured bookcase fell forward to the floor. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, share. Feel free to repost on other platforms like Facebook or Reddit. I'd appreciate it. Okay, I finished doing all the touch-up work on the mullions. Now I can turn this over and uh, install the existing glass that I have, the glass that didn't break. I've got to scrape any glue on the inside here from when I re-glued all these mullions. And I still have to clean uh, the old putty uh, off the old glass. Before I repaired these, I put all the glass in where I thought it would go and uh, numbered it all. Uh, but it could be different now. Uh, we'll find out. I'm going to start refitting them where I think they belong. Now I've got them all fitted, I can start installing them with the glazing putty. So you just keep kneading the putty until it's a consistent color. It takes a while. I'm just about there. Feels a little dry to me. I'm just going to add uh, literally just drops of paint thinner. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of this putty. I'm not going to use gloves for this because uh, I won't be able to get it into the back of the mullion there with gloves on. I need to roll out the thinnest possible little snake. Okay, so I got the Thin little pieces down. Now I'll take the piece of glass and squish it down as much as I dare. I just realized I can pick this up and take a look and see if I've got the right amount out. Yeah, I, it looks like there's just a very, very thin layer between the glass and the mullion. It looks good. I can't really sell for sure until I scrape the excess away, but it looks good. Now I put down the larger amount of putty on the out this side. Okay, that's good. I'll uh, let this dry for a couple of days before I take a razor blade and clean it up a little bit, but it's not bad. Anyway, I just got about, uh, I think, 13 or 14 to go.
on the second door, I've already uh, installed the existing glass, but on this door now we have uh, three pieces that I have to cut new glass for. All right, I've got uh, three pieces of antique glass here. This is glass salvaged out of uh, other furniture that's come in with broken glass. Now I'm uh, cleaning up and then French polishing the door frames. First I'm sanding with uh, lightly with just some 500 paper and then French polishing it with my uh, uh, French lacquer. So only one hinge uh, broke. I have the original hinge that goes here, and uh, in my collection of old hinges, I have a, an older hinge that is exactly the same size, so that was lucky. There we go, the bookcase section of the secretary bookcase. It fell face forward. The doors were all smashed. I think it looks pretty good. So now let's deliver it and get it back together with the base unit where it belongs.